Hi everyone! Barcelona have agreed the departure of one of the club's stars, Arsenal are looking to sign a top performer, and Real Madrid are making surprising statements ahead of their clash against Atletico. Support the latest episode with your likes and write where you watch us from in the comments down below. Now, without further ado, let's get the show on the pitch! Barcelona are considering handing Rafinha Diaz a new contract. His current deal with the Catalans expires in 2027. Liverpool have added 23-year-old Freiburg midfielder nearly in a row to their transfer target list. The club scouts have already had a chance to watch the young German who plays for the country's youth national team. Chelsea winger Mihailo Mudrik has decided to leave the English club. The Blues are set to part ways with him in the winter transfer window. 16-year-old Arsenal striker Chita Obi Martin has become a new player of Manchester United. The Premier League's five-step process concluded with positive feedback. Medical tests and contract signing have already been completed. Right back Denzel Dumfries has agreed on a new deal with Incher. It'll be inked in the coming days and will last until June 2028. AS Roma forward Paolo Dybala was not injured during the Europa League match against Athletic Bilbao. He just struggles with fatigue. Messi or Ronaldo? They are both amazing, to be honest, but I'm a Messi fan in the end," admitted Formula One legend Lewis Hamilton. Peter Lim, owner of Valencia, is being investigated by the anti-corruption prosecutor's office for allegedly transferring $23.3 million from the club to his company Meritan without proper accounting records. The season is over for Rodri, but the others can altogether replace what Rodri has given since his arrival to us," Guardiola stated. Both Florian Wirtz and Jamal Musiala give me great joy as a football fan. It's for players like them that he go to the stadium," said Bayern Munich sporting director Christoph Freund. Merino has been working so hard and is looking good. It's just about the healing of that bone and how mature that is to expose him to contract," Mikel Arteta noted. Al Nasser forward Cristiano Ronaldo netted a goal in the Saudi Pro League round 5 tie against al Barda. The 39-year-old Portuguese converted a penalty kick in the 56th minute of the game, making the score 2-0. Ronaldo scored 17 out of 17 penalties for the Knights of Night. Koeman has no moral authority to criticize the Saudi Pro League. Eredivisie is one of the weakest leagues in Europe, said Al-Hilal head coach Jorge Jesus. Tottenham Hotspur head coach Ainge Pastikoglu shared his thoughts on Eric and Hogg's work at Manchester United. There is always some manager under pressure, but I think Eric is in a real tough job. He's done really well. He keeps mentioning he's won two trophies and he has, so I don't think that's insignificant. In every club I've been, I won cups, except Tottenham. I was sacked two days before a cup final, Mourinho said. When clubs pay a lot of money for a player, we expect them to always be good, but it's not always like this. Football London quoted Enzo Maresca as saying, Argentina goalkeeper Emiliano Dibu Martinez has been suspended by FIFA's disciplinary committee for two matches after being found to have displayed offensive behavior and violating principles of fair play in the September World Cup qualifiers. It was a big decision to leave Chelsea, but the right one, Callum hudson claimed. Giovanni Carnevale is being rumored as a potential candidate for Roma's CEO vacancy. He's been working at Sassuolo for 10 years. Manchester United cannot give Ronaldo to Manchester City because he will score more goals than Erling Haaland is doing at the moment, probably, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer shared. Spanish centre-back Sergio Ramos could pursue a career in the Egyptian Premier League. Zamalek SC are keen on securing the signature of the 38-year-old Spaniard. I dream to win more trophies with Man United. A lot of trophies. Champions League, Premier League, everything, Amad Diallo said. Juventus can terminate Pogba's contract if the Frenchman loses his appeal to CAS. We have to win trophies, that is what the club stands for. This club has the ambition to play on the highest platform and we want to achieve the Champions League. We have two routes, one is through the Premier League and one is through the Europa League, Eric Ten Hag said. I think he will win it, and if he doesn't this time, it's okay, we move on, and he continues to strive for another. But still, I think he deserves it," Carlo Ancelotti noted. 
For the first time this season, Erling Haaland failed to score in a Premier League match. In the previous five rounds, the Norwegian managed to deliver 10 goals. Brentford became the first team to score in the opening minute in three consecutive Premier League games. Cole Palmer is the first player in the history of the Premier League to score four goals before the break. It happened in the Chelsea vs Brighton match, which resulted in a 4-2 win. Jadon Sancho has registered an assist in each of the three Chelsea appearances. The winger provided another one against Brighton. Man City have four defeats and a draw in their last five Premier League matches without Rodri and Kevin De Bruyne in the starting lineup. Mohamed Salah has scored four goals and made four assists in six Premier League appearances this season. Victor Osimhen scored two goals and delivered three assists in four appearances for Galatasaray. We have to accept this defeat. We didn't play well. I take full responsibility of it. It was not a good match. We made too many mistakes," Hansi Flick said. Osasuna defeated Barcelona at home for the first time since 2012. Francisco Conceição made his debut goal for Juventus. It happened in the match against Genoa. All right, it's time to hit the like button under this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Yesterday and the day before yesterday, we saw a lot of fixtures. Here are the most interesting results. Here's a brief recap of the most recent highlights in major European leagues. In Liga 1, PSG picked up another victory. This time, the Parisians dealt with Rennes 3-1. Juventus remain on top of the Serie A table after crushing Genoa 0-3. Milan and Inter secured a victory each again and are not far behind the Bianconeri. As for the Bundesliga, Bayern Munich and Bayer Leverkusen had a 1-1 draw in Sunday's main event, with the hosts responding to Andrik's strike with a wonder goal from Pavlovic. Meanwhile, La Liga gave us a truly shocking result. Barcelona suffered its first loss of points under Hansi Flick, losing to Osasuna 4-2. At last, the Premier League is getting hotter and hotter. Man City lost points for the second time in a row, playing a 1-1 draw with Newcastle. Liverpool took advantage of their misstep and beat Wolverhampton 1-2 thanks to goals from Konate and Salah. Arsenal and Chelsea are backing up the duo of leaders. Guys, how do you think we'll eventually capture the Premier League this season? Write your opinion in the comments down below. Well, moving on to other news, other leaks. Bayer Leverkusen midfielder Florian Wurtz has been recently linked to Arsenal, according to journalist Christian Falk. The Gunners intend to recruit the 21-year-old German who reportedly wants to leave Leverkusen next summer. The Black and Reds wants to earn $150 million from his services. Manchester City head coach Pep Guardiola has responded to Mikel Arteta's comments about the use of dark arts in the Arsenal vs. the Citizens' clash. When answering a question about City's players' complaints regarding Arsenal's dark arts tactics, the 42-year-old Spanish Arsenal manager said the following, I've been there before, I have all the information, so I know, believe me. Guardiola commented on these words of Arteta ahead of the Premier League matchday 6 encounter against Newcastle. Next time, he has to be more clear exactly what does it mean. He said he was here for years and we know exactly what happened here. It can be related in all the processes now with 115 charges. Maybe it's about that. He knows information about that maybe. I don't know. So really, next time, I need to see more clearly what exactly happened. Hopefully, this question will be asked. He can answer exactly what does it mean when he said he was here and I know what's happening here and instead of being in the clouds, to be more precise," Guardiola said. Liverpool centre-back Virgil van Dijk's contract expires next summer. According to insider Nicolas Kira, the Merseyside club is ready to open talks with the 33-year-old Dutchman to sign a new agreement. According to the source, van Dijk would like the contract to be renewed until the summer of 2027. Barcelona will sign Polish goalkeeper Wojciech Szczesny, reports Spanish journalist Matteo Morato. Based on the information provided by the source, the goalkeeper only needs to pass a medical and pen a contract with the Blaugrana. All other details of the transfer have already been agreed upon. Szczesny has accepted the role of Iñaki Peña's backup, but intends to compete for a place in the starting lineup. Real Madrid head coach Carlo Ancelotti shared his thoughts on La Liga matchday 8 tie against Atletico Madrid. 
Obviously, without Mbappe, it changes a bit, but not much, because last year we used to play without him. It's a shame he won't be here for this game, but we can manage his absence okay. Ancelotti admitted. Barcelona could look to offload Frank de Jong in 2025 after reportedly agreeing a deal on unpaid wages. De Jong's long-term future in Catalonia remains uncertain as he continues to recover from an ankle injury this season. With his contract expiring in 2026, the club are yet to open talks over a renewal, and sale rumors have reduced due to his injury. The Dutch international could still have a place at Barcelona if his return to action is swift and consistent, but the club are considering all options. As per an exclusive report from footballtransfers.com, Barcelona have agreed a package to pay the young around 18 million euros in unsettled wages, on the condition he leaves in 2025. The deal is viewed as a pragmatic solution to Barcelona's ongoing need to balance salary excesses and move forward on a stronger financial footing. Guys, check out suggested videos from our other channels. Have a great time watching. Bye-bye.